All right, again, my name is James. I'm a video production specialist here at Video Guys. If you have any questions about any of the bird dog cameras that we talk about today or this promotion that we're going to talk about today, make sure to give us a call 800 323 2325. Now, with that out of the way, Cameron. Why don't you introduce yourself to uh, the viewers? Absolutely, yeah. So my name is Cameron. I am a sales engineer at Bird Dog. So I'm here to help with anything on the pre-sale side, technical questions, anything like that. I'm your man, uh, based in Connecticut, so not far from the you know place here, uh, and easy to reach. My phone number is always available, as well as email. Okay, great. So. Like I said, the, the first thing that we want to talk about today is that the Bird Dog X4 is shipping. Uh, this is going to be available in our warehouse in the next couple of weeks, and we are super excited about that. Uh, we're going to be talking about the new X Factor upgrade, which can get you off up to $500 off of a Bird Dog camera. And then we're also going to talk about some of the more affordable cameras in the Bird Dog line, including the Bird Dog X1 and the Maki Ultra. So let's start it off with the X4 Ultra, which is the brand new camera. And even though it is a brand new camera, it is compatible with this um, X Factor upgrade. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that promo and how people can take advantage of that? Yeah, absolutely. So all you have to do is go to our website, birddog.tv, fill out a little form giving us some information, telling us about what cameras you're currently using, and you'll get a coupon code, which is good for some money back on your new camera purchases. That's going to be $200 off an X1 Ultra, a $400 off an X4 Ultra, and $500 off an X5 Ultra. So some really good savings out there. Yeah, so again, all you have to do is go to birddog.tv, register your existing camera, and then you will get a coupon code to be able to get up to $500 off one of the new Bird Dog X series uh, cameras. So we're talking about the X4 Ultra. Give us a high high overview of what the X4 Ultra is. Yeah, absolutely. So this is the first ever fully wireless PTZ camera that I've ever seen. So it's got a six hour built in battery, supports uh, Wi-Fi 6, which will do NDI. It's 4K 60, so you're getting great image out of that. And it's HX3, so you're still saving with that low bandwidth as well. It's kind of a Swiss Army knife of cameras, I like to think. All right, great. So some of those features that you just mentioned, Wi-Fi 6 compatible, uh, and we're going to get into more detail on the next generation of the Bird UI, the AI, AI auto tracking, the Tally Light, it's a PoE Plus compatible camera, has an e-ink display on it like some of the other cameras in the line, embedded audio on all of the outputs, and of course that built-in battery. Absolutely. So let's talk about the performance first, talk about some of the upgrades from uh, the other cameras in the line. Yeah, so this is a 4K 60 camera. We really wanted to give you that great resolution as well as frame rate. Our other X series cameras, the X1 Ultra, X1, and X5 Ultra, have a one over 2.8 inch sensor. This goes up to a 1.1.8 inch, one over 1.8 inch. So you're getting a 33% larger sensor, which is great for bringing in, you know, a little more light in your low light scenarios. This has kind of been a camera we try to tackle the event space with. And things like, you know, education, house of worship, where maybe you can't get certain lighting scenarios, this is going to be really helpful. Yeah, absolutely. And also having a little bit bigger of an image sensor will have a shallower depth of field and make it look a little more cinematic as well. So great idea having that larger image sensor. For sure. The next thing that we want to talk about is, of course, it's Wi-Fi compatible. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that and the wireless receiver that is also available. Yeah, so like we mentioned, it is a Wi-Fi camera, which means it's going to do NDI over Wi-Fi. It is Wi-Fi 6, so it's going to be a very fast, very reliable connection, allow you to go a little bit farther distance than ever before. And it comes with an optional Wi-Fi receiver station. This is going to let you connect up to four X4 Ultra cameras, so it makes managing your network and your Wi-Fi set setup a whole lot easier. Very cool stuff with the X4. And then, of course, the X4 has some more of the traditional connections as well. So why don't you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, so you're still going to get 3G SDI out the back. You're going to get HDMI as well as USB-C for webcam purposes. Really, what's great about the Bird Dog setup is that all of these ports are open simultaneously. So you're not limited to NDI or just SDI. You could use all three or more if needed. All right, great. And we like that having that versatility to be able to do whatever you want as the camera user. Name of the game. All right, so there have been some upgrades to the Bird UI, which is their web GUI. 
Um, so why don't you tell us about some of those updates? Yeah, so this is one of the biggest updates we've ever done to our user interface. They are under the cam control tab of the Xboard Ultra. So uh, this is the first time we've ever put a live preview screen into our user interface. This makes changing your camera settings like white balance, color, uh, color correction, all that super easy, as well as your settings for your AI auto tracking. This has the most uh, advanced AI tracking we've ever put into a camera, and all those settings can be found right in the user interface with that preview screen, so super easy to edit and super easy to tune in exactly how you need. And one more thing that I wanted to mention while we're on the Bird UI is that uh, it's now more easier than ever to be able to update your cameras. It's just a simple one-step process through um, uh, Fleet Manager or through the Web GUI. Uh, so kudos to Bird Dog for making that um, as easy as ever. Yeah, we want to make sure end users have the easiest time possible maintaining their cameras for the long run. Definitely. All right, so now let's talk about some of the design features on this camera. Now, as you can see, uh, the camera is uh, sleek, but it is also subtle. Uh, it's available in both black or white. Um, with that, having that subtle design, it makes it so it's, it's not distracting in whatever environment that you put this in. And there are actually some things that you can do to make it even less distracting, such as being able to turn on or off the, uh, the halo tally light system. So why don't you talk about some of the design features on uh, the X4? Yeah, like you mentioned, this has a fully integrated halo tally that'll go live if needed, but you can turn that off in the user interface super easy, just a click of the button, stands like you have it right now. Also, there is an e-ink display on the side, which is consistent through the entire X series. That's going to give you your, you know, your IP address, frame rate, resolution, all that great information. And on the X4 Ultra, it's also going to give you your battery life. So really easy to maintain that information. And what's great, when any of these cameras have no power or they're off power, that information is still readily available to everyone. Very good stuff. Yeah, I, I think that these e-ink displays are such a good addition to these cameras. You know, my, my biggest takeaway with it is, you know, you mentioned that it displays the battery, but it also displays the IP address of the camera, which makes it super easy to get into that upgraded uh, web GUI. So again, Bird Dog just making it as easy as possible to get into these cameras and get the full potential out of these cameras. Absolutely. So let's talk about some use cases and where the X4 will fit into. Yeah, so like I said, we're trying to make this camera as versatile as humanly possible. So it'll work in permanent installations, but also in things where, you know, maybe a camera won't fully live all of its life. So education, house of worship, events, concerts, things with low lighting with that bigger sensor now. You can, this either lives great on a tripod permanently or in the case ready to go on the road. Yeah, no, I, and I think you, you kind of hit the, hit the nail with the hammer on that one saying that you can have this in a permanent uh, situation or you can have this in you know, a ready-to-go pack and be able to not have to worry about running cables or is the lighting as optimal as it can be because you know, a bigger image sensor, it can be wireless. It's, it's the perfect camera to just throw in a pack and go to whatever event that you wanna to go to. Now, what we're gonna do for this slide is this is all of the specs of the X4. This is probably way too much to read all right now. Don't worry, we are gonna have this uh, chart in our blog with all of the features. Um, but Cameron, why don't you talk about uh, a couple more of the features that we didn't have a dedicated slide to? Yeah, so like we said, this camera lives great in a case, and one of the great uh, specs on that is that it is under five pounds, so not too heavy, lives great in a Pelican case. Also, it's got 3.5 millimeter line in and out for audio, so running in you know, embedded audio is a lot easier than having to just you know, maybe do it on a software side. Uh, and then one thing that I also wanted to mention is uh, some of the network protocols, including NDIHX2, NDIHX3, RTMP, and SRT, which again, just making it so you can do whatever you want with these, uh, these cameras. Okay, so that is everything that we wanted to talk about with the X4, but we also wanted to talk about some of the other cameras that are in the X series. Um, and so to give, again, a high level overview of all of the features, let's bring this slide up full screen and let's just talk about some of the, the um, major differences between the X1, X1 Ultra, X4 and the X5 Ultra. Yeah, so like we mentioned, one of the biggest differences is gonna be that sensor size. X4 Ultra is gonna be a little bit larger than the rest of the X series. 
X4 Ultra and X5 Ultra are also 4K cameras with a 20 times optical zoom, where the X1 Ultra is gonna drop down to 12X and be 4K 30. Um, another big feature that we gain on the X5 Ultra is gonna be that fine drive motor, which we'll talk about a little bit later, and the 12G SDI. So you get that full 4K footage out the back. That's a lot of great information. So now let's talk about uh, these cameras individually. Um, but before we get into that, just another reminder that uh, the X5, the X1, and the X4 Ultra are all available uh, with this X-Factor upgrade. And of course, that includes the X5. And um, so again, just register your existing camera at birddog.tv and you can get $500 off of the X5 Ultra. So let's talk about some of those high level features again with the X5. Absolutely, so like I mentioned, this has got 12G SDI out the back in that ultra fine drive motor. So it's gonna be the most accurate, precise, and smooth movement we've seen out of a PTZ camera from BirdDog. Works absolutely spectacular. Another great thing about this camera is that it is TAA compliant, as well as NDI HX3 certified at every single resolution it offers. So that performance right. is gonna be high level and consistent from top to bottom. All right, great. So now we'll talk about the X1 Ultra. The X1 Ultra is also available in this X-Factor upgrade. BirdDog.tv, register your existing camera, and then you can get $200 off of an X1 Ultra. Um, the X1 is also available. It's not in the upgrade program, but it is still available. Main differences between these two cameras is the X1 Ultra can go up to 4K 30, whereas the X1 can uh, do 1080 60. Um, why don't you tell us some of the other features that are on both of these cameras? Yeah, so one of my favorite features that's on the X series, X1 series as well as the X5, a way to talk about it here, is that built-in NDI HX decoder. So that is a great uh, feature for you know, return feeds, confidence monitors, teleprompters, anything where you need to run a secondary feed from that camera while keeping the camera feed simultaneously. This is a great feature to have. Just run straight out of the HDMI port to any HDMI thing you need. So a small monitor nearby, absolutely fantastic. Keep those cable runs nice and short. And a perfect example of that would be in our very own studio. You know, currently we're taking a SDI cable out of the back of our TriCaster and we're running that into a Sumo 19 SE um, via SDI. Uh, but if we were to use a bird dog camera such as the X1 or X1 Ultra, um, we would be able to then just take the feed out of our camera and plug it directly into our Sumo and we wouldn't have a 15 foot cable running, we'd have a three foot cable running. So like Cameron said, uh, being able to minimize the amount of cables that are running throughout your studio is always going to make things easier uh, and, and less hazardous. <laughs> yeah, we love a nice clean workflow. Yes. Uh, and then so last but certainly not least, we wanna talk about the Maki Ultra, uh, which is available in both a 12X and a 20X model. So why don't you tell us uh, some of the differences, uh, some of the features that these cameras have and why someone might choose the 12X over the 20X, because they are the same price. Yeah, so we don't uh, kind of say this is a spec difference. We say it's more of a use case difference. So the 12X is gonna have a wider initial field of view than the 20X and then a little bit shorter uh, zoom length. So that's great for you know a smaller space or something where you can't, you don't need that full zoom length, but you do need to go a little bit wider. That 20X is gonna start narrower and then go 20 from there. So when you have a little bit longer distance to cover, that's a great fit for you. Mm -hmm. Another great thing about the Machis is there's physical buttons on the side. So because there's no pan or tilt options, it makes it a lot easier to you know plug a small monitor in quick when you're setting up the camera and adjust your settings as needed. Yeah, perfect. And just a, a use case example of why you might want to go with the 12X is say you're doing something like this and you're, you're talking about products that are on a table and you wanna make sure that you can see the whole table from an overhead. Maybe that you go with the 12X because it does have when fully uh, zoomed out a wider field of view, but then maybe you have a subject that is gonna be 20, 30, 40 feet away from the camera and you wanna be able to zoom into them no problem. That's a situation where you would go with the uh, Maki Ultra with that 20X optical zoom. Absolutely. All right. So I just want to end it one more time. I've explained this a couple of times and I just touched the microphone. Sorry, everybody. Uh, I've explained this a couple of times. Cameron, why don't you just explain the X-Factor upgrade one last time? Yeah. So once again, just go to Bird Dog TV, 
Tell us about the camera you're currently using, as well as a little bit other information. Get your coupon code and save big on the Ultra X1s, X4, and X5. All right, that is great. I want to say thank you so much to Cameron and Bird Dog for joining us today. Um, we always give our guests the last word. Is there anything that's on, on your mind that you want to talk about? Any exciting features that you foresee that won't get you in trouble, of course? <laughs> no, of course. Yeah, I'm always a pleasure to be down in the studio here. I'm really excited to see what end users do with the X4 Ultra with all that different versatility it comes with. So happy to see all these different use cases come out. Um, but yes, thank you for having me. Always a pleasure. Thanks for coming. Uh, I want to give everybody a reminder that uh, in just a couple weeks, we are going to be starting NDI November. Uh, if you want to get more information on all of these cameras, because they are NDI compatible, make sure that you sign up for that at ndinovember.com and uh, register for your chance to win one of these cameras. Um, Bird Dog is uh, uh, giving one of these cameras away to a, a lucky winner. Uh, during NDI November, so definitely make sure that you register for that. Um, and definitely make sure to tune in every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, we'll be live on both Facebook and YouTube. And while you're here, why don't you give us, uh, uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about uh, any of this stuff. And uh, we'll see you next Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.